Well, come on, get on, go on. Now, this might look like a Brainiac's day out, but don't be fooled, because today we're going to unravel the mysteries of motion sickness. This may well get a bit messy, because this is the science of sick. Motion sickness is the nausea, disorientation and fatigue caused by continuous head motion. It's usually experienced as travel sickness, which is caused by the lurching of the vehicle as it brakes and then accelerates again. I'm doing it at five second intervals. So that's accelerate, two, three, four, and then brake again. That's the best way because effectively you're kind of mimicking the rolling of a ship, if you like. Basically, I'm making everybody seasick. But here's the bit I love best. Apparently, as the driver, I'm not affected by it because I know when it's going to break and I can anticipate it and I know when it's going to accelerate so I can be braced and ready for it. Apparently, we could do this all day. The Brainiacs would be sick as pigs and I wouldn't be affected at all. Of course, it wouldn't be a coach trip without packed lunches. Ah, mini scotch eggs, mashed up egg coated in bits of pig. Now, that is sick food. The first sign of motion sickness, oh, sorry, folks, just breaking there, is blood draining from the face. So look out for anyone pale. Might also see yawning and, uh, oh, sorry about that one, and restlessness, and maybe a sweat forming on the upper lip and on the forehead. And finally, puking. Hold on. Oh, dear. One in four people suffer from motion sickness, so with five brainiacs, it's only a matter of time before someone blows chunks. But why wait when there's a way to make them even sicker? It's common knowledge that reading in a car or on a coach makes you feel sick. So, brainiacs, take out your reading matter and start reading. <laughs> Take away food menus, the perfect reading material if you want to get the juices flowing. But there is more to it than that, because as these brainiacs read, their brains are getting confused. Their eyes are telling their brains that because the menus aren't moving, neither are they. But the balance circuits in their inner ears are reporting movement all over the place. The result? A brain that doesn't know if it's moving or not, and a motion-sick brainiac. Oh, there's a yawn, a classic sign of sickness, and... Yeah, well, there's no clearer sign than that. There's no doubting these brainiacs really are a sickly lot. But what about me? No sweating? A colourful complexion? I still look fabulous. So there you go. Conclusive proof that no matter how badly you drive or how ill your passengers feel, drivers do not get travel sick. Earlier on, we showed that drivers can't get motion sickness, but their passengers can. All it took was a big bus, some creative driving from yours truly, and before long, we'd successfully produced one barfing brainiac. But motion sickness isn't just about cars and coaches. Scientists reckon that motion sickness doesn't develop until late childhood, which explains why your average five-year-old can happily spend all day spinning round without even the faintest hint of a chunder. Look at the little scamp. He's loving it. So, we've got a puke-proof five-year-old and three brainiacs, including the chunder king himself. Now all we need is some kind of vomit-inducing apparatus. A children's roundabout. OK, Brainiacs, spin the roundabout. Now, if scientific theory is correct, then two things should happen here. One, this little chap is going to have some serious fun, and two, this lot are going to chuck their guts up. We know from our driving experiment that looking down actually makes you feel more sick than looking forward. But we can go one better than that, because I'm going to instruct our brainiacs and our small child to look up, down, and from side to side. So that should make them feel really sick. OK, brainiacs and small child, if you'd all please look up. Two, three, four. And look down. Two, three, four. Look right. Two, three, 
Small child is the only one with a brain exit nose left from right, you'll notice. And look up! Dude, that's it. Have a good look at the sky. Tilt As the spinning left. passengers tilt their heads, they're subject to a phenomenon called the Coriolis effect. Essentially, it means that the brain is making calculations, fixing on things, and deciding it's in one place. Look left! Two, three. But actually, it's not at all. It's basically a kind of mega disorientation. Isn't science great? Look right! Two, three. Look up! Look left! Look down. See how Charlie's absolutely fine? Look at the face. Perfectly happy. He'd do this for days. But we might do this for days. Look but up. while our five-year-old is happy spinning away, look the down. mega disorientation of the Coriolis effect is making look one up. brainiac look more than a bit peaky. Look down. See if we can finish him off. Look up. Look down. See, he's going round and round. Look left. There you go. Look up. See the sky spinning? Mmm. Round and round. Now, oh, oh dear, oh dear. It worked! Another bath in the name of science. And he's immediately joined by a second spewing brainiac. It, it just has to be done, you know? We need to find the truth, and if there's a few casualties on the way, just let it go, my son. A resounding success, then. With only a small roundabout and the Coriolis effect, we've succeeded in turning this children's playground into a gushing mire of brainiac puke. Not that any of it seems to have bothered our five-year-old child. Look at the little scamp go. He's still loving it. Faster. Brainiac. So far on The Science of Sick, we've shown that reading on a coach makes you puke. And that tilting your head on a spinning roundabout is a surefire way to make a mess of a children's playground. But now we're going to try something pretty extraordinary. We're going to see if these brainiacs can get motion sickness without even moving. The secret is to keep the brainiac still and move the rest of the world, which isn't easy. Normally, moving worlds around is the preserve of Greek gods and stellar mechanics, but we at Brainiac are a resourceful lot, so we've invented this. It is the rotating tent. Inside are three Brainiacs. Now, they might look a sunbed short of a tanning session, but there is a reason why they look this ridiculous. Because we want to eliminate anything that might tell their limited senses that they're actually sitting dead still. So, these tanning reflectors here obscure their view of the ground, which is, of course, stationary. And all they get in its place is a reflected view of the tent rotating. Then these personal stereos are playing white noise so that they can't hear the rustling of the tent. Put it all together and you get a sensory experience, something like this. I'll be rotating with the tent. And so will the cameraman to maintain the illusion. It should add up to a pretty sickening experience. And the longer it goes on, the sicker and stranger the whole experience becomes until the brain is so confused it no longer knows whether it's spinning around or sitting still. Now, the good thing is, because of the way we've designed this, this brainiac can't quite see me to spoil the illusion that he's moving around in circles. And we want to concentrate on this one because we know he is the weak link. He's built a reputation for blowing chunks in the other two experiments. We're hoping he'll produce for us again this time. So we're going to turn it up a bit now. So Brainiac's outside. If you can hear me, crank it up. Let's go faster. The idea of feeling motion sick without even moving may seem ridiculous. But if there's one thing we've learnt on Brainiac, it's never underestimate the power of science. There's actually cold sweat on his forehead. I'd say any minute now we could have a result. Oh, he's going! He's going! Fantastic! He's gone! What a result! It works! That, that's three pukes out of three for this motion sick brainiac. First, we made him hurl with a lurching coach, then, we made him chuck on a spinning roundabout. But our crowning achievement has to be this making him bath when he wasn't even moving. This is the ultimate machine, the rotating tent, the scientific way to make somebody really sick. Ooh.